What's up guys, if you follow me on YouTube Shorts, then you knew this video was coming, but today we're gonna be doing the first oil change on the Toyota GR86. We just crossed over that 1,000 mile threshold, so we're officially past the break-in period, which I'm super excited about. I can actually drive this thing now instead of um, doing early shifts to make sure I keep the RPMs down below 4,000. Uh, but I am gonna change the oil myself for this go around because I wanna send this oil off to Blackstone to get an oil analysis to see how this thing did in its break-in period and make sure that it's all good and well. Uh, I do plan to turn around and then take this car to the Toyota dealership, maybe after I just put a couple hundred miles on the oil I'm about to put in it, uh, and then have them change it for its first official like warranty change. Uh, I really want, again, to make sure that this thing is healthy. There's been a lot of things on the internet about the engines and the reliability and RTV and all of that stuff. So I'm just trying to take the extra precaution, one, to make sure that the engine's okay, and two, I was one of the lucky ones that actually purchased one of these with a lifetime warranty. And I know there's a lot of taboo around that. I actually read through the document. It was about a five, six page document on everything that I have to do. And documenting the changes and the maintenance and everything else is part of the requirements. And so I'm going the extra mile and document it via video and taking you guys along for the ride. So we're going to run up to the local auto parts store here. We're going to pick up some oil. Hopefully they got some good stuff in stock. We'll throw it in, videotape the process. I'll show capturing the oil for Blackstone. And then in a couple of weeks, once I get the results back, I'll uh, make a follow-up video for you guys uh, to show you what the results are for the oil in this car. So let's get started. Okay guys, so I'm back from the parts store. Unfortunately, they were kind of out of some stuff. So uh, this is what I was able to put together. I got some Pennzoil Platinum, which is frankly good oil uh, with a Mobile One filter. Um, I'm going to put this in after uh, draining the original oil out. Again, we're doing the 1,000 mile break-in oil change right now, and I'm going to take a sample of this oil as I'm changing it, and I'm going to send it off to Blackstone to get an, an analysis on how this engine's doing. Not too concerned about, you know, Penzo versus Mobile One versus Valvoline, because frankly, I'm not going to leave this oil in there that long. I actually do plan to turn around at some point, uh, really in the near future, and take advantage of the free warranty oil change that Toyota does. So this oil may only live in here for about another thousand miles before it gets changed again. So with that being said, we've already skipped a couple of steps, got the car pulled in, got it, the wheel chocks in the back, Got jack stands up for safety, jacked it up using the front jack point, and then we've also taken the access panel off and spun it around. Shout out to Kevin Vo for this cool little trick to just leave the front bolt in and spin it around. Pretty trick. Uh, honestly, it's one less thing to worry about getting on the floor and another bolt kicking around and losing it. So I'm going to get you guys set up really quick, hopefully at a good angle. Get my drain plan and uh, drain pan in place uh, and drain the oil and capture a sample like i did on the solera and then we will uh we'll send it off for analysis all right guys so as mentioned we're going to drain the oil out we're going to capture a sample here to send off to blackstone for testing um i don't know if the camera caught it earlier but this is the first oil change of the car drain plug literally never even had the paint knocked off of it from where it has ever been changed so I'm gonna try to do this just like in the Solera video it's a little bit hard to catch the drain plug get the oil sample and not get it all over the garage floor but we're gonna do it get the oil Woo! And we got it made a pretty big mess so we'll let that drain out here I'll get uh, all this cleaned up and then I'll come back to you guys. Okay, guys, so we uh, we did collect our sample here. Um, honestly, the oil looks brand new as you would expect with a car with just over a thousand miles on the clock. Um, so it looks good. Didn't notice anything out of the norm as I took a second to look at the oil itself. Didn't notice any RTV, didn't notice any metal, didn't notice anything out of uh, the concern. I held this up briefly to my uh, LED powerful light there and didn't notice any sparkles uh, so overall I'm optimistic but we'll let uh, we'll let Blackstone speak for themselves when uh, when it comes to the oil analysis and see uh, see what the results are I'm uh, pretty optimistic though this card like I said only has a little over a thousand miles on the clock so it should be all good but again with all the uh, concerns on the internet about the um, 
oil pressure and RTV and all the other concerns that this car has. Just want to make sure everything's okay. Uh, and as mentioned at the beginning of this video, I do have a lifetime warranty on this car. And part of that lifetime warranty is keeping up on the maintenance. And so I'm going to go a step further and do oil analysis along the way throughout my ownership of this car. So that hopefully if anything does come up, I'll get notified of it ahead of time before something actually happens. But I'm going to finish this, uh, letting the oil drain out of this thing. I will uh, fill it back up with the pins oil and the mobile one I have sitting on the floor here. Uh, and then we'll put it back down on the ground and we'll crank it up. All right, guys. So, you know, I've got to shout out the hyper tough oil filter wrench tool any chance I get because it does, it just does work. I mean, it works so good. The oil filter on here was really tight. I couldn't get it off by hand. So this little tool came, came in clutch, spun it right off. Uh, I do know I'm going to get some flack for not putting the Subaru filter back on this thing for the time being. Again, as mentioned, this oil is not going to be in this car very long because I do plan to take it to Toyota and have them do the maintenance um, or the warranty oil change, if you will, rather soon. But I've got to take this car on a quick little road trip this week, and I didn't want to go any further without doing the oil change. And I also wanted to send some oil off to uh, Blackstone to get tested. And then I don't think the dealership would be a fan of uh, me asking for an oil sample. Um, maybe you're wrong, maybe your dealership's cool, but I don't think mine would do that. So again, doing this quick oil change, gonna spin this filter off, gonna throw the mobile one on, and then I will definitely take it to Toyota for a warranty oil change within the coming weeks. So as you can tell, it's pretty clean besides some just debris that got in there from, you know, regular driving on the highway. If you come over here and you look at the filter itself, filter looks good clean i mean like i said before the oil is pretty much clear it's basically see-through as you would expect again with a car with just over a thousand miles on the clock uh so again i'm pretty optimistic about how the uh the engine's wearing but looking forward to hearing what blackstone has to say when they give me the uh oil analysis report all right guys so we've inspected for leaks and we uh got the filter on uh we're going to lower it back down on the ground and then we're going to kick it on and we'll double check for leaks once more and then uh that'll do it i'll uh i'll take this thing on the quick little road trip like i said we'll wait on the blackstone report to come in and we will then uh take it up to the toyota dealership and let them do uh the first official warranty oil change as well so again thank you guys for watching if you like this content please like comment subscribe if you'd like to see more if you've got any questions comment down below and if you want to know what the results are once they are finalized, come back here hopefully within a couple of weeks and I'll uh, share that report with you from Blackstone. Thanks for watching. Okay, first official oil change on the GRD6 is done. Has just over a thousand miles on the clock. We filled it with the uh, recommended amount of oil based off the manual using um, Pennzoil Platinum 020, as you can see. Plenty of oil left in that extra quart. I used that just to get to the uh, the full mark as per the manual states. And all seems to be good. Oil changed at 1,143 miles. 